The Oscars aren't only about honoring the best films and actors, they're also all about the fashion. Joining me now is our own CT style expert. She's got the predictions for the 87th Academy Awards. We have expert and blogger, Shania Hartley. How are you? How are you? It's Oscar time. I know, it's, it's a big time of the year and you say that one billion people watch the Oscars. This is big for designers. This is huge for designers. It's the best one night of advertising that they wouldn't be able to get in a magazine or a commercial at all. So what are your predictions this year? Do, do we have a best dress, worst dress? We definitely have a best or worst dress, but my real prediction is that the best dress is probably going to be the non-nominees. Really? Yes, or the non-actors, may I say. Okay. For the ladies, I'm thinking Chrissy Teigen, Sports Illustrated model, That's wife of John, John Legend, Legend. Okay. is going to look dynamic. She looked great at the past two awards that just came up. Mm -hmm. And then for guys, I'm thinking Common. He has Common. a new stylist, same stylist as Lupita Nyego, okay. who last year slayed it on the red carpet. She was just doing phenomenal looks all over again. Obviously. He looks great, pressed, tailored, impeccable. Is, is is he doing much in the music industry still, or is he kind of? Well, he's nominated for Selma. Okay. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an Oscar nomination. Yeah. So you're going to see him on the red carpet for that. So I think that that's the best thing that can happen music-wise. That'll be big for him. And then how about the styles this year? It seems like each year, you know, either it's it's based more on the ladies and what they got going on, and then the men kind of seem to be in the same No, no, no. No? Guys it's are different? looking great, totally. Okay. You have Benjamin, I'm sorry, Benedict Cumberbatch. He looks great in a suit. You mm -hmm. also have an, the other nominees. Mark Ruffalo is looking amazing, as well as Bradley Cooper. They, and, and, and you. And, and Ryan you. Christopher. I'm yes, sorry. I, I'm sorry, Ryan. You exactly. Have to that. And, and you, yes, totally. Exactly. <laughs> but the guys are looking great. They're not going for the traditional black tuxedo. They're wearing a, usually a deeper blue or a navy. So it's giving that take on it. And then last year, I don't know if you remember, but Matthew McConaughey, he wore this great white, white yeah. dinner tuxedo. Yep. So that's also part of this just switching up in regards to just going out with the regular tuxedo. So I think the guys are really going to cut a nice look for red carpet. So, uh, you know, this is a big opportunity for some of the designers. Do you, do you have any idea of, of some of the most uh, uh, best looking designers this year? Like what's hot in, in terms of the ladies, in terms of the cut of the dresses? and You know, a lot of the designers actually get some, some of the actresses locked in before they even come out. Now, the couture shows just happened back in January, so you're going to see a lot of what was on the runway in January coming down the red carpet this Sunday. Mm -hmm. But there's probably, Julianne Moore is going to definitely wear Givenchy. She's worn it for the past two awards, the SAG and the Golden Globes. You're going to see her in that again. And probably Reese Witherspoon is going to be in Armani once again. But I'm betting on that your red carpet rebel is going to be Emma Stone. She has worn a sheer tuxedo, to one award show mm -hmm. and a jumpsuit at another. So I'm thinking she's going to take it out of the box. So this she time takes around. those risks and, and. And she takes great risks because she looks great. It's not a risk where you're saying, huh? Mm. Not at all. So it's very chic. It's, very it's, chic. It's trendy. Exactly. How, how about worst dress besides me, of course? <laughs> so how can you be worst dress and best dress? You got to pick one you know, or the I'm other. A little right? bit of everything. You'll, you'll be yeah. worst dressed when you're at home in yeah, your sweats yeah, that, like the rest true, of us. True. You know, I, I sound a little bad when I say this, but I'm thinking that Patricia Arquette may actually sort of fall off yeah. with us. You know, she's she's not that no, well known for doing really great red carpet fashion, hmm. but I hope she proves me wrong. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to tune in and check out. Of course, it's right here on Channel 8, Sunday at 7. Shania, thank you so much. And of course, we can find you on Twitter, right? Exactly. I'll be tweeting everything about the red carpet and the Oscars Sunday night, all, all right. dressed up at home. Speaking